this guy has hit the longest ball of this game, Alejandro Cazorla. A walk and a solo home run for the Dayton right fielder. Serves one out to right field. Haven't been able to get him out yet. Lead off single in the eighth. Four pitch walk and Dayton has the first two on base in the eighth inning. Good spot for Arias, three and one with two on base and nobody out. Ball four. The bases are loaded for Dayton. The tying run coming to the plate. So trying to capitalize here. Close, but ball four and Hawks walks in a run. Padano heads to first and it's five to two. McIlvain trying to snuff out the rally for Dayton. 2-2 pitch, long drive, right center field toward the gap. And down for extra bases. He smashes a double to the right center field gap to bring in three. Or two. I guess it bounced over the fence. So one of the runs will go back. And they got the tying run at third and the go-ahead run at second. And the tying run coming down from third, a wild pitch. Now Dayton pulls even at five. Wild pitch. Brings home Padano, back where we started. It's actually a pinch hitter, David Mendez at the plate. And he draws a walk. As Dayton, with Ryan McDougal coming up, will have sent nine men to the plate in this eighth inning. Having a good time, watching their team rally. 1-1, over the glove of Davis, into right field. The Flyers off the mat to take the lead here in the eighth. Doby had the big double. He scores the go-ahead run. A single by McDougal, his first knock of the night. Boy, now another big spot here in a hitter's count. Cozorla, two hits including a home run. Fly ball deep left to the track. Ball jersey as it go off his glove. Dayton plates two more runs as Cozorla delivers again. The Flyers, a monstrous eighth, monstrous eighth inning, he said, to make it eight to five. Yeah, I thought that had a chance to get out of here. He just kept tracking and tracking, absolutely tagged to left field. Bolger right on the, the fence, kind of hits the, the buff off of his glove. I think he hit the fence before it got in his glove and it kind of rattled it out. I was thinking that Vastam was gonna relay that, but it looks like wasn't a lot of communication between that infield. Dayton just continues to, to pile it on here. Damage done for Dayton. Seven runs in the eighth to take an 8-5 advantage over the Commodores here in Nashville.